Hey guys, welcome to Enzyme Mental. Before we begin, hit that subscribe button below and click the bell so you don't miss any notifications. And today we're going to explore the bioflavonoid compound diosmin, which is an extract of citrus rinds. Diosmin is derived from the well-known bioflavonoid hesperidin, and citrus rinds are a rich natural source of hesperidin. Diosmin is known as a phlebotonic, or a nutrient that improves the health and function of our veins. Diosmin reduces the sensations of pain, swelling, tension, and heaviness in the legs, and these are the specific symptoms often associated with chronic vein disease. Diosmin also helps to strengthen the integrity of our veins at the peripheral sympathetic nerve terminals. One popular use for diosmin that's relatively recent is as a treatment for restless leg syndrome, which is distinguished by uncomfortable sensations like itching, burning, tingling, or even electric shock-like pain. The exact cause of restless leg syndrome is still unknown, even if researchers often attribute it to chronic vein disease, nerve damage, anemia, or even rheumatoid arthritis. Diosmin is also a natural inhibitor of the metabolic enzyme catechol o methyltransferase or COMT, which participates in the degradation of catecholamine neurotransmitters like dopamine, epinephrine, and norepinephrine. Most famously, the motor symptoms of Parkinson's disease are caused by a reduction in dopamine, which ordinarily transmits signals to the brain to produce smooth, deliberate movements. Diosmin can also relieve edema, by directly reducing the flow of edema fluid in the legs. And as a reminder, edema is swelling that results from fluid retention, typically in the feet, legs, and ankles, but edema can also show up in plenty of other body parts too. Left untreated, edema can lead to decreased mobility and decreased blood circulation to the affected area. And this is why regular exercise is one of the best ways to prevent edema entirely. Diosmin naturally inhibits another metabolic enzyme called glycogen synthase kinase 3, or GSK3, and this affects both the innate and adaptive immune response to inflammation, specifically by reducing inflammatory cytokines and increasing anti-inflammatory cytokines, while also promoting tolerance to inflammatory stimuli and reducing inflammatory cytokine production upon repeat exposure. Again, all of these things happen when you inhibit the action of the GSK3 enzyme, and diosmin is a natural GSK3 inhibitor. As a supplement, you'll likely find diosmin in doses of around 500 milligrams per serving, and being a derivative of hesperidin, you'll often find diosmin actually paired with hesperidin. Also, you'll sometimes see diosmin combined with a group of flavonoids referred to as MPFF, or micronized purified flavonoid fraction. Because diosmin occupies at least 90% of this group, many supplement manufacturers use the terms diosmin and MPFF interchangeably. So if you ever encounter this, just remember they mean the same thing. You'll also often find diosmin as one ingredient among many in supplemental preparations for varicose veins and associated lower limb circulation. This means you'll see diosmin among well-known circulatory herbs like butcher's broom and horse chestnut. The only major caution with diosmin is that if you're taking any prescription blood thinners, you may want to avoid diosmin. Also, diosmin can dramatically increase the effectiveness and toxicity of the prescription antibiotic metronizidol because diosmin inhibits the enzymes that ordinarily break down metronizidol. So if you're already taking metronizidol or if you're going to begin taking it, then just avoid diosmin entirely. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.